Good morning guys and girls, so it is Sunday the 31st of July and it has just gone, let me check the time, so it's 9.12, so 12 minutes past 9, uh, woke up this morning at 173.4, there's 172 yesterday, really happy with how that was and thought that I would wake up light this morning because yeah, I had a really good day yesterday, I got 10,000 steps in, I trained, I ate really well and I was 173.4, so really, really pissed off with that. Um, but I think it's because I'm just really sore from training legs. So I did a lot of volume on my legs, it was a new program, did a lot of volume on my legs and I imagine that's the only reason why, I can't really think else why it would happen. But i keep the goal the goal and just keep cracking on and I'm pretty sure because I won't be having another refeed for quite a while that I will hit a new low before the end of next week. Fingers crossed. But anyway, what's happening today? So like I said, I'm going to train. I've got a little bit of work to do this morning and we're going to go try and get the microphone fixed for this camera because it's broken and that's maybe why the sound is not so good. And I'll probably have a little bit of a gander at some other lenses as well. So we're going to try out some new lenses and stuff because it's been all of about three days since I bought something. So, you know, I'm a cereal spender. But Charlotte is currently making breakfast. So we're trying out some of our new purchases from Protein Bigger Mix. We're trying the True Team Red Velvet. So I'll let you know how that is. And here we have it. Same old, same old Protes. Yeah, we have the red velvet tree teen in there and some pretzel flips thingies, which we bought as well. So, gonna enjoy this and then get on with the day. Okay, so just finished up editing the anniversary vlog and going to make some lunch. So it's just gone half 12 and we're going to be having these fish cakes which were on yesterday's vlog. I made eight, so we had four yesterday, gonna have four today. So we're gonna cook those up along with some asparagus and aubergine and some other random veg stuff. And then I need to take a picture of this for my website. I mean, look at that. Would you not want to eat that? And here is the finished product. So two fish cakes, some roasted aubergine, roasted tomatoes, and a little bit of asparagus, you know, to thin the skin, whilst also watching a bit of Jamie Oliver. And for dessert, we're gonna be having this Muscle Tech Mission One Clean Protein Bar. What a shit name that is. I had chocolate chip cookie dough, so I will give a little review on that, along with some actual clean food, quote unquote, just a big bowl of fruit and we're also going to be trying this sweet caramel syrup as well well i certainly am anyway right so the muscle tech mission one clean protein bar is basically a quest bar what do you reckon yeah but not as good ah. <laughs> there we go then <laughs> so if you don't like quest bars you definitely won't like this if you like quest bars this is just a not as good version of it Okay, so we just arrived at Waitrose and we're gonna go in and grab our free coffee along with some salad bits and pieces because we're getting through salad like it's going out of fashion at the moment. Uh, so picking up some cherry tomatoes and stuff and then gonna take a walk to park cameras. So this is a difference between prep and non-prep. So if I wasn't on prep, I would literally just drive to the camera place. But because I've gotta get the steps in, I've gotta get the activity in, we are going to stay here, so we're going to stay parked here at Waitrose, and it's about a half an hour walk each way, so it'll be about an hour walk, means I can get my steps in. But yeah, kind of annoying, really. Okay, well, so that was completely pointless. So the problem is that I've got the microphone on top of this camera, but it's very intermittent. So you go in to show someone and just hoping that it's not going to work, but it worked. So it can't work out whether it's the microphone or the camera or connection or whatever it is. So we basically just wasted a little bit of time. But fortunately we still managed to get some steps in and we did manage to get free coffee from Waitrose. So we got about 5,000 steps in, about to go and train and then have a little bit of a feast tonight. Okay, so just back from Burgess Hill from the camera shop and funny enough, my microphone has stopped working. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, just turned it on, tried to film a little bit and it stopped working, so so annoyed But I took a video on my phone to hopefully go in and show the guys what exactly is happening That it is very intermittent, so hopefully I'll get things fixed But like I said, I don't know if it's the microphone or the camera 
but one of them is probably going to have to get sent off, which is very, very annoying. But to cheer me up, I'm going to have protein bar number two of the day. I say I, we are going to share this protein bar. So it's, oh yeah, chocolate birthday cake one bar. Now, I imagine it's called one because there's only one gram of sugar, but the actual macros of it are very similar to kind of other like Quest bars and stuff like that. So one bar, 210 calories, seven grams of fat, 25 grams of carbs and 22 grams of protein. So not bad macros, but again, very suspicious marketing on this one, but I'll let you know how it is. His and hers cut straight through the middle. Looks good, smells good, does it taste good? <laughs> oh. Good. Mm -hmm. what, what is it like any other protein bar? Mm. Not really actually, it's kind of really fudgy and it's got these little crunchy bits in it. Can you see them? Yeah. Mm. That's nice. a good protein bar. Oh, well don't know, yeah. What do you think, Mr. Anson? It's good. Yeah, so it's a little bit fudgy. Flavour's good. Oh, yeah, just absolutely nail their flavours. So, flavour is awesome. Very good. Don't know where you can get this, actually. Obviously, from Protein Bigger Mix, but never seen these before. Mm. But they are very good. But just don't be fooled by the marketing. They're still the same as like other protein bars. Very similar macros. But very, very good and actually very different to things like Carb Killers, which are my current favourites. So I had a pretty decent workout this workout. I kind of felt like halfway through, is it's a real struggle to get through to the end of the workout. So after the kind of my main movement, it is a little bit of a struggle, but managed five reps on one ten bench to start off, which I'm really, really pleased with. My bench actually hasn't moved that much. I haven't dropped that much strength. And surprisingly, it's normally the one that drops off first, and my squats and deadlifts are suffering a little bit. Uh, and then moved on to the back movement. So started off with a horizontal push movement, and now a horizontal pull. So just some seated cable rows, making sure that my chest is up and I'm getting a full stretch at the bottom of the movement and making sure that my shoulders aren't caving in or rolling forward and then moved on to a vertical pushing movement so went on to the military press and I did 65 for sets of five actually looking back at this I probably should have done a little bit more because I'm trying to train to an RP8 but this was actually pretty easy um, and then backed it off to 62.5 for sets of five, another four sets of five after that. And then I moved on to some underhand pull downs. So the vertical pull here. So wider grip than I normally take. And I find I'm really struggling to engage my left lat at the moment. It seems to be fine when I'm posing and stuff, but actually when I'm performing a movement, I can't really feel it that much in my left lat. And I think I've got some sort of internal or external rotation issues in my left shoulder. Uh, and that's stopping me from engaging my lats. Now it looks like I am, but it just doesn't really feel like it when I'm doing the movement. So I don't think I'm getting maximum engagement, but yeah, pleased with how my back is looking at the moment. So still looking quite lean. And then moved on to some supine grip single arm cable extensions. Oh, I'll say that five times fast. And I like this movement because it stops you your elbow from kind of moving out. So a lot of the time when people do like tricep push downs and stuff, their elbow will start to move out. So by having your palm facing up, it kind of stops that movement. And then just to keep things simple, I simply put the rack right down to the bottom and just did single arm kind of con concentration bicep curls. And these looked and felt pretty good uh, and just notes in more and more definition on the daily. And then again, to keep things simple, I moved on to single arm cable lateral raises. So getting a nice little lean, potentially a reduced range of motion compared to uh, a dumbbell, but I just really love this movement. And whenever I'm doing this movement, I'm thinking about throwing the cable away from me and I find that really engages my delts. So yeah, pretty decent workout. Okay, so just back from the gym and I had a pretty decent session. I still have zero motivation to train, but I got a decent pump on and now it's just a case of just getting through the sessions and trying to be as strong as possible and really using things like music and stuff to try and motivate me, although I've lost my headphones, which is kind of annoying, so I didn't get to do that today, but I tend to use music to kind of motivate me and get me through it, but I just don't want to go to the gym anymore and that's kind of worrying because you know, it's it makes you start to reconsider why you're doing it and all that sort of stuff. 
and yeah that's the kind of stage I'm in at the moment where I don't I don't even want to really go to the gym anymore I just know I have to do it it's kind of a means to an end which is um, yeah like I said hopefully that will come back pretty quick after my competition but I know probably between now and the end of my competitions I'm probably not going to want to go to the gym which is again something that people don't realize when they see people up on stage and they're all lean and you know looking shredded and stuff like and smiling like are they actually smiling or are they just feeling uh, like crap on the inside and not wanting to train and stuff like that so definitely um, the first well it's been happening for a couple of weeks now so the first time I've kind of spoken about it on a vlog uh, but yeah that's kind of what's happening but I am motivated to eat <laughs> so we're gonna make some dinner and we've got kind of like a three course dinner tonight that we're kind of randomly making up so I'll show you exactly what we have so oven is preheating, ready for this bad boy from M&S, wood-fired ultra-thin pizza with salami and other random stuff on it. And this is kind of be, gonna be like our starter. But the macros on it look really, really good. So the whole thing is 394 calories. So obviously we're gonna be splitting this in half. So just under 200 calories each and only about eight grams of fat. So looks pretty good and we'll let you know how that is. And that's going to be followed by some hash steaks and a salad and something for dessert, which we haven't quite decided yet. Eight minutes later, and we have this. Looks good, smells good. Will it taste good? Okay, so I'm going to give my review of it first. I recommended a pizza a few weeks ago on my vlog of another low calorie pizza. I think it was like a Pizza Express one. Buy this one. That is all. This tastes awesome. Like, really, really good. Between the ketchup and the mustard, and then the Agreed. Dish <laughs> 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 what a beaut! <laughs> and course number two is another huge salad with some courgette, lettuce, tomatoes, beetroot, rice, and some pomegranate. So we picked up a pomegranate, so put that on top and beef hash steaks, so the muscle food beef hash steaks. And the reason I'm showing you Charlotte's is because I am a caveman who eats out of a bowl because I cannot contain it all on this plate. So yeah, we're gonna enjoy this and that is pretty much finished off the macros for the day. You're gonna have a little bit of dessert, but I will show you what I have. So protein bar number three of the day is gonna be this Arnold Muscle Bar. So this is a big bastard bar. So this is like uh, 370 calories. Uh, so quite high in calories, but obviously we only have half at a time. So whilst this is the third protein bar, technically we've only had one and a half protein bars today. So gonna to have this to finish off today's macros. And that is also going to finish off the vlog. So I appreciate that this vlog and yesterday is probably a little bit samey. Uh, we've basically done exactly the same, just cooked up some nice food and gone to the gym. But that is just kind of a nice chilled weekend for us, I guess. And very samey, but consistency is key, people. Back to work from tomorrow, although technically I work every day. But back to full on work, like client check-ins and stuff tomorrow. Um, and I've got a couple of photo shoots coming up in, during this week. So Tuesday and Wednesday I have some photo shoots. So I'll make sure to film them because they'll be a little bit more interesting. Probably won't film tomorrow just because I'll be sitting on my arse all day replying to emails. So not particularly enjoyable. But as always, make sure to check out the next vlog. And thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like the video if you like the video. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Thanks as always for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.